Greetings, music fans. I was approached the other day from a longtime friend regarding my track versus track Beatles edition videos. And he stated that he was sick and tired of me ranking the Beatles album. So I figured I'd do things a little bit differently. I grabbed a stack of CDs. I own all of these already on vinyl, but for the sake of this video, I grabbed the CD so I could do this outside on a beautiful spring day. So I found two albums with eight tracks, two with nine, two with 10, and two with 11. And I'm gonna go track versus track, and these are all non-Beatles. So I hope, Steve, if you're watching, you can appreciate this as a neighborhood girl is now harassing my dogs. All right. Anyway, let's get started. Are we ready? So the first two albums uh, are both eight tracks long, and they are Boston's 1976 self-titled album, classic hard rock album. I mean, you've probably heard every one of these songs on the radio at some point. Versus probably my favorite Billy Joel album, Billy Joel Turnstiles. I know it's not cool to like Billy Joel, but there's a soft spot, spot in my heart for him. And there are two albums that I really like. As a matter of fact, you'll stay tuned. You'll be seeing another one of them in our next video. But I figured I had to note the albums really well. And I didn't, guys, I didn't spend that long looking for albums I, I just pulled out like some and i looked oh that has eight tracks i know that album pretty well oh that one has eight tracks i know that album pretty well so i didn't spend a lot of time picking these albums these aren't my favorite albums with eight tracks but i know them extremely well as do most people so um i came prepared today i'm gonna keep track legit so let's get started here shall we track versus track so we got our Turnstiles, Billy Joel album, and we've got our um, Boston. See, I almost forgot the other album. That's how quickly. I it. Okay, so I'll give each one a tally. We'll start with track one. On Turnstiles, we've got the uh, Phil Spector inspired. Um, Say Goodbye to Hollywood uh, was the single off this album. Fair amount of radio play. Um, I think it actually was probably more popular off the, um, songs from the Songs from the Attic live album, but strong track versus More Than a Feeling. I got to... I got to think on that. So my first experience or exposure to Boston was the song More Than a Feeling. And I loved it instantly. Um, and uh, honestly, as many times as I've heard that song, I don't know if I. Well, it, it doesn't hold the same place as it once did, but I don't know if I've ever actually gotten tired of it. Say Goodbye to Hollywood is a really good song. And it's one that I was kind of so-so at one point, but then uh, I actually sang it for karaoke quite a few times and, and really liked it, but more than a feeling or say goodbye to Hollywood, you know, I got to give it to Boston. That's, that's actually not that hard of a decision. So one point for Boston. All right. Track two, we've got, Ooh, summer Highland falls. Fantastic piano ballad. Um, the piano um, arpeggiates and moves rapidly throughout the song but the vocals are just soaring um the last time i saw billy joel it was in saint paul i believe um saint paul or minneapolis and he gave the audience a choice between summer highland falls or um the down easter alexa which is um like one of his late 80s joel songs and the audience freaking voted for that i was so pissed because I love Summer Highland Falls, one of my favorite Billy Joel songs, period. And that's going, oh, sh it's going up against Peace of Mind. 
Oh, what a song. What a killer song. That opening riff. And then the soaring guitar comes in. Man, I love that song. And Brad Delp's vocals throughout. Boy, that might be my favorite song off of Boston, but. Oh, this one hurts. This really hurts. Summer Highland Falls is probably the most beautiful song on this album. Peace of Mind just kicks ass. Um, oh, man, this one's going to hurt tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to lose some sleep over this one. I'm going to give it to Boston, man. Peace of Mind. It's just its too good of a song. I can't. I, I prefer it over more than a feeling. All right. Two for Boston, none for turnstiles. That hurts. I love Summer Highland Falls. I could change that if you give me another second, <laughs> I, but we forge ahead. All right. Track number three of a turnstiles is all you want to do is dance. Um, either my least favorite song off this album or my second least favorite song off my album. And that goes up against foreplay long time. <laughs> you kidding me? Foreplay long time every day of the week. That amazing two minute introduction with the, with the organ and then just the, the, the great chorus in long time. Oh man, that, that might be the most epic song. I mean, that's like prog rock right there. That's like maybe the best song in the album. All right. Boston's three turnstiles, Billy Joel zero. All right. Track four, New York state of mind. What a damn fine tune. Um, not really overplayed for me. I guess if I lived in New York, it might be overplayed, but sorry, I'm getting a call right now, which is really annoying. Oh my gosh. Excuse me while this phone call runs its course here. How annoying. Using my earbuds and it's going dang, 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 in my ears over and over and over again. I'm going to let it run its course here. Sorry, because I really don't want to start this stream again. All right. Once again. I probably would be burnt out of New York state of mind if I lived in New York, but I don't. So I like it. And that's going up against rock and roll band. Um, I used to like it. Uh, don't have a problem with it, but one of my least favorite songs on this album. So New York state of mind is kind of a middle of the road song for me, but I'm going to give it to turnstiles over rock and roll band. So Billy Joel is on the board with his first point there. All right, song number five, uh, James. So maybe my second least favorite song off this album. I think all you want to do is dance is the weakest. And that's going up against Smokin'. And that song is Smokin'. And that is one of my favorite songs off this album. So Boston gets that one easily. Uh, quick score check. Boston four, Billy Joel, Zip, R. Oh one excuse me all right now the the back half of turnstiles is super strong so i i i'm not i'm thinking it could end up in a tie here but let's see all right number six prelude angry young man my favorite song off this album give a moment or two to the angry young man and that that awesome piano introduction and that's going up again that's going to be hard to beat that's going up against hitch a ride Ooh. Hitch a Ride is very ballad-like, but it starts to rock towards the end. And it's been like one of my favorite songs off this album in recent years. But I can't, it's not going to beat, that's too bad because it's a strong song, but it cannot beat Prelude Angry Young Man. All right, Turnstiles gets its second point. All right, track seven. Um, I Love These Days, fantastic ballad. Love singing this song. Um, along with Summer Highland Falls, these are the two, winners these both of those songs are better than new york state of mind but i'd love these days is a fantastic song and that's going up against something about you another song that i really like another slower song and then uh all of these songs got played on the radio um something about you probably is the one that's gotten the least play and therefore i really probably it's one of the, it's one of the songs that i've really enjoyed more recently but i'm gonna go with billy joel i love these days all right, so it is 
Billy Joel three, Boston four. So here's the last track, track eight. Let's see if uh, Billy Joel can tie it up. So we've got Miami 2017. What a, what a killer song, man. What an absolute killer song. Uh, seeing the lights go out on Broadway versus let me take you home tonight. The one non uh, Tom Schultz song. Uh, Brad Delp wrote that one. I like it. It's good. But it's not as good as Miami 2017. Well, there you go, folks. Turnstiles came back and tied it up. Four to four. So, which album do I like better? Boston. Boston, I, I prefer. Um, it wasted some bullets, though, on some weak songs like James and All You Want to Do is Dance. So there's two weak songs on this. But, you know, Say Goodbye to Hollywood, Summer Highland Falls, New York State of Mind, Prelude, Angry Young Man. I love these days. Miami 2017. Great song. So six out of the eight. Great. I'm going to go seven out of eight on this are great. More than a feeling, peace of mind, foreplay, long time, smoking, hitch a ride, something about you, and let me take you home tonight. Rock and roll band, I, I wouldn't put it in the great category. It's better than James and uh, all you want to do is dance, though. So, uh, yeah, seven out of eight, awesome. Six out of eight, awesome. And actually, seven out of eight plus one good. Six out of eight, two duds. Uh, James is not really a dud. I just don't really like it that much. Kind of cheesy. All right, there you go. Stick around and we'll do another one of these uh, with nine tracks next time. Non Beatles. I hope you're happy, Steve. Bye bye. See you later. Sayonara.